people. So one thing that I love doing is plants and I love doing plant hauls. So I wanted to do a quick plant haul today for you. And I am on my phone. I'm usually on my camera, but I didn't charge it. So hopefully this is okay. I'm just gonna, I only have like a couple plants, like four or five plants to show you. And I do believe I don't even know if I showed you my Clusia last time, but I'm going to start with this plant that I have right here. I forgot the name of it. <laughs> I forgot the name of the plant. It is a, um, okay, I got the name. It is a water dragon anthurium. It is a water dragon anthurium and it's so pretty. Let me show it to you. It's cute. And oh, this is it right here. It's so pretty to me. Of course, since I bought it today. And they like, they can take filtered light, it says, and they grow best in zones 10 through 11, is what it says. This white right here, I put diatomaceous earth on all of my plants when I first get them and just kind of let them dry out and with the diatomaceous earth on there in case there are any bugs like on top of them or something. And then eventually I'll repot it, but in the meantime, I'll do like the neem oil, the dish soap and everything just to keep bugs out because I don't want them in my house. But it says they get really big and they, they can take moist soil, but they don't like to sit in wet soil. I don't know of too many plants that do. Unless they're water plants. This one I got, I had it outside, but since it's getting cold, cold here now, I have to bring it inside. And I hope it does okay. I don't get a whole lot of light in my in my house. I do have lights, um, plant lights that I added, but this is a can of lily. And if anyone knows anything about can of lilies, you know they like a lot of light, like really bright and direct light. So hopefully I can she can make it through the winter. We'll see. She has a new leaf coming. New leaf right there. I don't know if you see it right here. She's so cute. And all of these, I'm gonna cut them off. I don't know why they all just, they just all leaned over like this. One day I had them outside, they were fine standing up straight. And then the next day I came outside and they were all just like that. So I don't know what's going on with them. But yeah, so I'm gonna water her. Canna Lily's like, they like water, but they don't like to stand in water either. So, this is my next little baby that I got. I don't remember if I if I showed her before or not. I don't remember. And I also got this little this little um, pot. I'll link it below where I got it from. But this is a black um, ZZ plant, and I love her. She's doing okay. She lost a leaf. Um, I mean, a branch. I think because I didn't have enough sunlight on her, so I put her in the directly in the window, and she's been doing okay lately. They don't like a lot of water, just like other ZZ plants, and I water her probably, honestly, like once a month. I don't touch her. All right, sorry, I had to stop the video because there was a guy on my lawn, and I had to go figure out what it was. It was an Allstate guy, and he was, not that you guys care about this, but he was checking and looking at my neighbor's roof. So this is my, my next new plant that I got, and it is a, a, um, a well fan, Sansevieria. And I, and I bought it on Etsy, and I thought it was gonna be bigger. I didn't really, the measurements, they, I don't know. I just thought it would be bigger. But I'm happy with her. I've had her now for like a um, couple months. It's probably been since the summer, so like since June. And it's now no, almost November, so. And the same thing with the ZZ plant, I water her probably about once a month. I don't, do you know what, I, I tend to overwater Sansevierias and things like that, so I try to underwater them, because I think they would rather be underwatered than overwatered. So I underwater her in about once a month, and I think that's it. No, I have one more thing to show you guys. Don't laugh at my plant. Don't laugh at my plant. <laughs> These were 
avocado trees that I planted. And they grew over the summer so well. And then it's a mat right Dang it. And then when I brought them in, this is what happened. I mean, I don't live in a warm climate, so I didn't think they would survive. Um, I, you know, I'm, I have a plant light. Oh, let me show you, let me show you guys my plant light. I have a plant light for herbs and things, and I thought maybe they would be able to fit under it, but they're not. They're not gonna fit. So, okay. So this is my little plant light for that I'm gonna use for my herbs, and it's pretty bright actually. So I like it. I got it from Amazon. I'll keep you guys updated on how it works if you want to know. And if you want to know where I got it from, then I will link that below. I'm going to show you, take you guys outside to show you one more thing that I got. Okay, so over the summer, I got two big palm trees. This is one. It's dying, slowly dying. I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. So if someone has any type of help, I forgot the, what kind it was. I've been so bad with names lately. I don't even know why. But this is the first one that I got. This is the first palm tree that I got. And see, it's turning brown. I water, I spritzed it. It's good and watered. The soil, yeah, the soil is still moist. And I spritz it with water morning and night. And it's still, like, drying up. I don't know what else to do. Because it was really full when I got it. And I'm very disappointed in it. I'm very disappointed in you. <sighs> so we'll see. If anybody has any tips for palm trees. I'm going to look up some things and see what I can see. And if it works, then I'll let you guys know. This is my other palm tree. So this one I got. And I wasn't thinking about having to bring it in for <laughs> the winter. It's up to my ceiling. It's ridiculously big. But I love it in here. I love for my house to look like a jungle. It looks like a jungle in my house. But I love it. It's also getting brown tips and things. Not quite as much as the other as the other one. But it does have a new, a new little leaf coming. So that's exciting. 